right, everyone, just one more little comparison. I just wanted to do a quick little comparison between the iPhone SE, the 2016 model, and the new model that just came out to see what are the major differences are if you have the iPhone SE currently, the original one, should you get the iPhone SE 2 and all those crazy things. And once I get the iPhone SE, the second gen, I'm going to go ahead and do another comparison, the full one, but I'm also going to do a giveaway of that. I'm going to buy two of them so I can give one away to you guys. So make sure you keep a lock down on this channel and my main channel if you guys want to, you know, see when that comes out. But the iPhone SE, the original one on Amazon cost about $90, give or take, maybe even a little bit less on some variants. So I'll leave a link down below if you want to check them out from there. But also the iPhone SE 2 is selling for $399, which is still not a lot of money. So if you're not strapped for cash, or if you even if you are, the iPhone SE 2 is a very, very good price tag to pay for a phone like this, man. And and to be honest, even though the original one probably pushed more of a narrative for the iPhone SE, and it was probably like the best one, the second gen is still pretty good in my opinion. Now looking on the front, the iPhone SE, the original one had a 4-inch screen. The iPhone SE 2 has a 4.7-inch panel, and that one is 750p, so a little bit higher resolution, but still a very good panel at the end of the day. Both of them do not have force touch, so that's pretty funny. You know, we both have, you know, disadvantages for that. But the iPhone SE 2 does have True tone technology, which is really nice. So even though the original iPhone SE's panel wasn't that bad, the iPhone SE 2 will have a better panel, not because only because it's higher resolution, but also because of that true tone technology, which is really, really awesome. The original iPhone SE had the lightning port, which both of them had, but it also had the headphone jack, which is cool. The new iPhone SE 2 does not have that, which was already expected. On the back, we have single camera setups on both, but the iPhone SE, you know, they're both 12 megapixel sensors and they both can shoot 4K at 30 frames and everything, but the iPhone SE 2 can not only do 4K at 60 frames, but we also have portrait mode on the iPhone SE 2, which is seriously so cool. That's something that, you know, not a lot of phones in this type of body style have the iPhone XR was the first one with a single camera setup and now we have the iPhone SE 2 that has a single camera setup but also has that portrait mode capability which is so cool. On the front a 1.2 megapixel camera on the iPhone SE, 7 megapixel camera on the iPhone SE 2 and that one can shoot HD video but no 4k on those or either one of these so in terms of software iOS 9 that's what started with the iPhone SE original one and we are currently on iOS 13 on both devices. The iPhone SE 2 will definitely out last the iPhone SE in so many different ways but also in terms of the software as well and that mostly has to do with the chipset you know the iPhone SE 2 has that Apple A13 Bionic chip where the iPhone SE had that Apple A9 chip we have hexa-core CPU on the iPhone SE 2 a dual-core CPU on the iPhone SE and there's a couple different variants of each model so we had the 16 32 64 and 128 gig models on the original iphone sc and every single one of those had two gigs of ram but the new iphone su2 has a 64 128 and 256 gig models and there's still no current like verifiable fact of how much RAM this phone has, but we will tell, and once I do my full comparisons, we'll figure it out. But I'm estimating it has three gigs of RAM, but it might have four. We just have to wait and see. Hopefully it doesn't have two. But in terms of performance, the original iPhone SE still is pretty decent, but the iPhone SE 2 will definitely do you better. It's going to be just as fast, if not faster, than an iPhone 11. So we're going to have to wait and see until we get our hands on it, but I'm sure that's going to be the case. Ending it off with the battery life, we had a 1,624 mAh battery on the iPhone SE, and we still don't know how big that battery size is on the iPhone SE 2, but if I had to estimate, I would say it's probably around 1,900 mAh. If it's over 2,000, I'll I will surely be shocked about it, but I don't think it is. I think it's going to be around 1800 to 1900. But this phone has wireless charging, which the original iPhone SE did not have. So whether you care about it or not, that's still a really cool feature that the iPhone SE 2 has that the original iPhone SE does not have. So not a deal breaker, but something to consider. So to kind of end off, what I'll tell you is the original iPhone SE still has a little bit going for it for sure, but the iPhone SE 2 is still the top dog. It's going to be here for a long time. And for $399, it is definitely a really good pickup in 2020. So that's my quick little comparison. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.